iLoc or iLock stands for integer location. And what that allows us to do is to use integers to select one or more rows or one or more columns within a pandas data frame. And in today's video, we're going to be going through 12 different examples of this going from either like one row, multiple rows, using slicing and much more ton to cover. So let's start coding. All right, let's jump right into it. So import pandas as PD, run that line and we are off to the races. So what we're gonna do first is define a data frame and well, you can grab this data frame is the article down below in the description. So uh, this will have all the code here for you guys, but I'm still gonna walk through this. So that way, if you wanna replicate it without going to the article, go right ahead. So essentially what I am a huge fan of marathons and ultra running. So for this video, what we're gonna do is take a look at the top 10 fastest marathon times. And uh, these have uh, these have been doing really well over the last few years because of super shoes. So by the time you watch the video, and maybe you watch it a year or two years in the future, all these times are uh, incorrect. But regardless, there's some goats in here, Kipchoge, which I've covered in other videos. But regardless, we have the uh, we have the rank first, which is range one through eleven. So we'll have rankings one through ten because of that. Um, then we have our athletes. So we have ten different athletes over here, uh, the country that they are from. You can see all the best marathon runners are either from Kenya or Ethiopia. Uh, the time of their marathons, which is incredible, a two hour and thirty five second. It's uh, crazy. Uh, pace per mile, which all these are faster than my fastest mile. And uh, the race that they uh, accomplished this in, as well as the year. And as I mentioned, most of these are new. So 2022, 2023, 2024. Um, and we have two, or sorry, three from 2019. Now, what we're going to have to do is convert this dictionary into a data frame. It's so easy. So all we do over here is df equals pd dot data frame pass in data and now you can see this as a data frame um actually misspelled data frame which uh that's okay we'll go over here data frame like that and now we can take a look at df we'll just do a df ahead of 10 so that way you guys can see everything and here we go right our ranks as i mentioned one through 10 based off of range and if you're not too familiar with range uh, it's used commonly within for loops i just didn't really want to put one 10 over there with the athlete we have the country time race pace per mile the race as well as the year awesome so we're good now to jump into some examples again feel free to use whatever data you want this data you can grab specifically from our website so what we're going to do is go through 12 different examples and we're going to start off very easy and we're just going to grab a single row so a single row and how i want to explain this to is python starts at zero so if you're trying to grab the first row you want to start with zero so just go over here we're going to say df i look or i lock however you want to say it pass in zero and this will take a second but what we'll see is you'll get all the information from kelvin kiptum and uh he's going to break the two unfortunately before he passed away and you can see race per mile pace per mile chicago 2023 and rank number one that is the world record as of right now. Uh, let's say you wanted to get this second row with Kipchoge, right? The only person to have a sub two hour marathon, although it wasn't technically an official sanctioned race as part of a project. You can see Kipchoge over here, two hours in one minute with nine seconds back in Berlin. So again, just think of it, if you're gonna grab any of these, right? Rank is gonna be one above the index value. So when we grab the index of zero for Kiptum, we grab the index of one for Kipchoge. Now, here is another interesting thing, right? So we can actually grab a negative index. So go over here, we'll say this is gonna still be, eh, we'll throw this into example two, we'll say negative index. And what happens if we do that? So we just go over here, I look negative one. And we grab 10th rank, right? So it goes here to the bottom and it starts over here for negative one. So I don't know how to pronounce that last name. I apologize, but the two hour and two minute marathon with 55 seconds back in London in 2019, that would be look of, uh, I look of negative one. 
All right, so we're jumping into example three now. So example three is how do we grab multiple rows? So multiple rows, and this is pretty easy, right? So all we wanna do, loop, and inside over here, we'll specify it with another pair of brackets. So let's say we wanna grab rows zero and one. We put zero and one over here, and we get Kiptum and Kipchoge. Let's say we wanna get the last one, as I showed you, we can just go over here, zero, one, and nine. And I'll just remove the space just so it looks a little bit nicer. And you can grab those just like that. So they don't have to be next to each other, right? You can feel free to put whatever ones that you want and you can populate it like that. Okay, so now let's go into our next example. And this is gonna be example four. What if we wanna grab a single row and a single column. So our second attribute after the comma will be our column. So our first is gonna be our rows, our second is gonna be column. So to do that, right, I'll do df i lock, and then we'll grab is Kipchoge's best marathon time. So Kipchoge is gonna be in row one. Remember, as I mentioned, starts at zero. So he's has second fastest marathon, so row one. And then I wanna grab his time. So same thing, we start here, rank would be zero, right? Athlete would be one, country would be two, and time would be three. So if I wanna grab Kipchoge's marathon time, we go over here and do one, three. And you can see two hours, one minute, and nine seconds. It's really, really fast. Now, how do we grab multiple rows in a single column? So example five, multiple rows in single column. We just expand on this, right? So I already showed you, you can use brackets like this. So all we wanna do is go over here and let's say we just wanna grab the marathon times. We just go over here and three, and you can see time and it has all these over here, right? And the same thing could be said if you want multiple rows and multiple columns, right? So we'll say example six is multiple rows and multiple columns, right? So same exact thing, we can just go over here. And what we'll do is now, second set of brackets, and we'll go one, three. So that way we get the names, right? We have the athlete and the time associated with it. So very basic so far, right? This is our row. And then after that is going to be our column. And that is right over here. And if you want to have multiple rows or multiple columns, remember, just put them in brackets like that. So two pairs of brackets, essentially, right? Outside for your iLoc, and then inside, which ones you want to grab. So we're going to increase the difficulty a little bit. And don't be fret. Don't fret on this side of things. So we're going to go example seven. And what we're going to take a look at is slices. So what we can do mentioned this as slices. Let's jump right into it. So one of the things we didn't take a look at is populating an entire column, right? We looked at populating an entire row, but we didn't do that for the column. So here's what we're going to have to do go over here, and we're going to put colon, right? And what this allows us to do is grab everything. So this says grab all of the rows, right? We could say the same thing on the, the column side, I think, if we wanted a, a colon right? Grab everything. That's what it's saying. But let's say we want to grab the races for these athletes that they performed in, right? So I'll say five. And just to go up over here, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, right? That's the rest. So what this takes a look at is all the rows, right? Which you need all the rows if you're going to take a look at a column, right? A column is going to have all the rows individual information. So if you go over here, you grab this and you can see all of these specific races, right? And just to show you, I'm not gonna put this on my website, but if we did colon, colon like that, right? It populates everything. As I showed you, right? This means get everything, but we'll expand on that in a second, right? But this example seven, right? Grab a column. We're exposing you right now to what the colon does. It grabs everything. So we grabbed all the rows first and then we grab a specific column. Does it make sense? One more time. Colon is grab everything, right? Our first parameter in here essentially, right, is to 
grab the rows. Well, we want all the rows when we go with a column, right? Because a column has all the rows in one section, right? So we have all the different athletes, the races. And because of that, we have that in race, okay? And then we just want to grab the race column, which is in that five position. So we have the race. So all rows, right? The specific column. That's what's needed if you want to grab all the information from all of them. Again, hopefully that makes sense. So now what we can do is take a look at something called slicing. So let's take a look at it from the perspective of rows. So example, this is a slicing rows. All right. So remember how I mentioned well, let me show you this example over here. So df.iloc or iloc, and we'll go over here to zero and one. Now this only prints out Kipton. You might be confused on what's happening over here. So let me explain. This is gonna be your start position and this is gonna be your end position, right? So we're starting at the index of zero, which is right over here. And we stop at one. When we stop at something, it is not included, right? So in this case over here, we are not including Kipchoge, right? We stopped it at one, so it grabs Kiptum, it gets to one, it says, hey, stop, don't use this anymore. So that is what's happening over here, right? If we wanted to have Kipchoge in over here, we would do zero two. So let's just do that. And this is an example of slicing, right? So we go zero, we just go to one, and then we stop at two. So what I recommend is you practice with this a little bit just to get used to it, but that is how slicing with rows works. Now, the same thing can happen with columns too. So this can be our ninth example, and we can say slicing for columns. Now, again, there's the complexity of when you go to a column, you want to grab all the information from all the rows. So once again, we'll start off with iLook over here, and what we'll do is put a colon first because we want to grab every single row, then put the slice you want let's say i want to grab one through five so i can get athlete all the way through pace per mile right so this is zero so we're not going to include it this is one two three four five right so it's not going to print out the race or the year right it'll just go all the way athlete country time and pace per mile and you can see over here athlete country time and pace per mile all right how about if we wanted to combine both of these? So let's say we want to slice both our rows as well as columns. So that will be our next example. This is actually example nine. So not to get you guys confused a little bit, but we will jump into example 10, right? So go in over here, slicing rows and columns, and let's jump into it. So all we do in this case, right? I look. And again, let's say we want to grab zero through three, and then we want to grab one through five. So this kind of combines a few of the examples we've gone through, right? So we get Kiptum, Kipchoge, Bekele, and then we have the athlete, country, time, and pace per mile. Again, zero through three, right? Grab zero, one, two, it stops at three. Then one through five, we already explained it, right? Zero, we didn't include. One, two, three, four, and then five, we did not include. Now, one other thing I want to explain over here with iLook is we can do steps and steps allows you to skip over things. Now I don't use them really at all, but I just wanted to showcase to you, this to you in case it is helpful in some capacity. So these will be our last two examples. So example 11, we'll look at steps for a row. All right, and now let's take a look at this example. So we're starting off with the, the rows. So we'll do DF the iLock or iLook and we'll do zero, nine, too. So we'll look at that and then we'll grab all the columns. I'm not too afraid of that. And this visually will explain a lot. So you can see we go over to each time. So we're going zero, nine, and we're going to. So we have zero, which we start at, right? And since we're specifying a step of two, it skips one, it goes to two, then it skips three, goes to four, then skips five, it goes to six, then skips seven, goes to eight, and it stops at that nine position. Again, we're grabbing all of the columns. Now let's take a look at the opposite example, right? Which is our steps for a column. So we'll just go over here and steps column, and we'll jump right into that. And we'll go DF, I look, grab everything. We'll say zero, six, and then we'll do two. And what you'll see is we start with the rank, 
right? Do we skip country athlete? Go straight to country, right? And we skip time, we go to pace per mile, and then we essentially end at this busy goes to six, right? So zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. If we wanted the last one to print out, we'd have to go through here through seven, right? And then you can see it prints out year, which was here at the very end. Uh, because the source code on the website is going to be six, I'm going to just put this over here. But yeah, so essentially that's the video. Remember for iLoc or iLock, however you want to pronounce it, right? You start with rows, then you go into columns. You can specify specifics if you really want to, right? I uh, showed you slices over here. So start and then stop. Stop is never included. That is going to be a trick question sometimes when you're learning Python pandas. Like if you're in a class, a teacher may ask that type of question. So remember, start, which is included. Stop is not included, right? Um, going back up over here, right? You can grab multiple rows and multiple columns at a time. Just throw the extra brackets around them. Remember, first in iLoc is going to be your rows. Second is going to be those columns. And you can grab a single row. You can grab multiple rows if you want to. And lastly, if you want to grab a single column, you have to put in your colon first. So grab your colon because every column has to have every single row, right? So colon over here. And then your column, remember, starts at zero and then adds up for all of this. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video on integer locations within Python pandas. And if you found it valuable, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're uploading in there from two to three videos every single week. We have a few important links down below in the description. You can find all the code for this video. We have a link to our free discord as well as mentorships. And if you want to continue this Python pandas playlist, well, you can click onto it right over here.